Hello, everyone. My name is Sue Nally, and I'm the IRL Festival Director, and I'm here today to tell you the story of Finn's Hounds, written by Grania Rowland. Finn McCool was a mythical hunter-warrior of Irish mythology who lived in Northern Ireland, and he is rumored to be a giant. There's many stories about him, and um, if you had seen our um, video earlier by Kathleen, she tells the story of the Giant's Causeway, which he is rumored to have um, made. Another famous story about Finn McCool has to do with these giant dogs that he was always seen with, and uh, I'm going to tell you that story today. So after many years of living in Northern Ireland, up at the Giant's Causeway probably, Finn met his mother, Myrna. They met at the Palace of Almu. Along with Myrna came Finn's half-sister, Thurin. Finn had never seen her, but he liked her instantly. While Myrin and Thurin were visiting with Finn, Turin often watched while the Fianna practiced their fighting and poetry skills. She fell in love with one named Ulan Achta. He was the best poet and fiercest fighter of all the men. He fell in love with Thurin as well, loving her beauty and gentleness. Since Finn was the leader of the Fianna, Ulan, was asked, Ulan asked Finn's permission to marry Thurin. Finn was delighted to agree to the marriage, but he placed one condition on it. Finn told Ulan that if his sister should ever be unhappy, that he would return her to Finn. Ulan agreed and the wedding was the biggest ever seen in that area. Now, before Ulan had ever seen Thurun, he had made certain promises to a woman of the She, also known as the Good People. Her name was Ukdolf. Ukdolf found out about Ulan's wedding, and she was furious. A few months later, when Thurun was expecting a baby, Ukdolf raged with jealousy. She vowed revenge for she had loved Ulan for many years. Once when Ulan had been out with a Fianna for many days, Uchtab came to Thurun. The she-woman spoke most politely. She used her best manners and was dressed in her prettiest silver robe. My lady, spoke Uchtab, your brother Finn has sent me to invite you to a feast. He wishes to celebrate your good luck in soon having a babe. He wishes you to travel with me to Almu. Thurin replied, Oh, it'll be so good to see my brother again. But surely Finn would wish me to come with my husband, Ulan. Let us wait until he returns home, and we shall all travel together. Your husband awaits you at Ulma now, said Uchtab. We must make haste. So Thurin and Uchtab set out without delay, but as soon as they're away from Ulan's home, Uchtab brought out her magic brown rod. She touched Thurin across the back with it. Thurin cried out in fear as she watched herself quickly changing into a dog. Ochtub screeched with glee. The trick worked, and now I shall have Ulan. Ha <laughs> ha, cackled Ochtub. You will remain a dog forever. Thurin whimpered sadly as Ochtub tied a rope around her neck and led her to the house of Fergus Fianlia. You will care for this dog by order of Finn, Ochtub lied to Fergus. Then Ochtub left. Now, Fergus hated dogs and was known to treat them cruelly, so Ochtab thought that Turin would have a hard time for the rest of her life. But she had forgotten how gentle and kind Thurin was. It wasn't long before Fergus learned to care for the dog, for Thurin lay quietly by his side. She licked his hand and guarded his family well. She was soon the favorite of all the household. Finally, after many weeks, Ulan went to Ochtub. Please, Ochtub, he pleaded. You are one of the she. Surely you can help me find my wife. Use your magic to tell me where she is. Oh, I know where she is, said Ochtub. But if I tell you where she can be found, you must do something for me. You must send her back to Finn along with her children, for she has had twins. Then you must keep the promises you made to me long ago. Ulan sadly agreed, for he loved his wife. I know I have treated you wrongly, he said. I will do as you say, but you must show me where my wife and children are, and they must be safe. With that, Ochtob took Ulan to the house of Fergus. She touched the magic, 
brown rod to Thurin's back. Thurin immediately regained her human form, but the twins remained puppies, for they had been born so. Ulan took all of them back to Finn. When Finn saw his sister and the pups, he was not pleased with Ulan. But since Thurin still loved him, Finn only banished him from the Fianna. As for the pups, Finn loved them as well as he would loved human nephews. They were named Bran and Shikalon, and they were given the best of everything. They grew up to be Finn's companions and took part in many of Finn's adventures. We hope that you enjoyed this story and stay tuned. Go to our YouTube channel. We have many more there. Bye.